Is this Sansa wearing black? Man, what is happening to Sansa? Shall we go? She ain't even walking like Lord Baelish. Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so we up to episode eight. Now, the title of this episode, The Mountain vs. The Viper. Listen, ever since Prince Oberyn respectfully requested a meeting with the Mountain way back in episode two, I have been anticipating that meeting. I think I'm going to get it this episode. Let's check it out. I'm not going to lie. This is my most anticipated episode of the show so far. Hoping and praying this is the one-on-one -on -one with Oberyn in the mountain. Belching the damn clothes? Wow. Oh, that's where Gilly at. You hear me? Yes. Well, you got anything to say? I'm sorry he woke you up. <laughs> I don't care if you're sorry. Should I ask then? Don't be quiet. Oh, I will. Don't you ever touch him. <laughs> Little wildling bitch. You should have stayed with your own kind. Mm -hmm. You listen to me. Shut your mouth. What? Mm -hmm. It's just a now, you dumb bitch. Mm. No, it's not. Yeah, Gilly know what's going on. Also, if I was her, I would have been killed that woman. You have one time to threaten me, and then you're dead. I take all threats real serious in this show. Mm. Who's that, Wildlings? The Dens in them? Yep. Well. They're about to run through this town. Man, that was too quick for her. <laughs> Come on, Ingrid. Okay. I should never have left her there. You couldn't have known. Of course I could have known. We were raiding the villages close by. We just cower in here while they slaughter our brothers. Our brothers had orders to stay at Castle Black. Oh, so it's all yeah, right. And they already then. heard Black about Jack it? And kegs and mully chopped to pieces because they brought the rules. I didn't say it was all right. I'm saying they shouldn't have been there. They're pledged to guard the realms of men. She's dead because of me. We can't even guard Moles Town. We can't go after them, you know that. It's what they want. Little Sam. Yeah. As if I cut the throats myself. Maybe she managed to hide herself. She survived Craster, and he was the worst shit I've ever met. She survived the long march to the wall. She survived a white walker for fuck's sake. She might have got out. She might have. If they hit Moles down, and we're next. Bring it. Even though his army must be close. They only got a couple of hundred. There's what? Hundred and five of us left. Oh. 
He got That's it. Blackjack kegs and mully. 102. Yeah. How do 102 men stop 100,000? Yeah. It ain't looking good at the wall, man. Uh oh. Grey Worm. Uh oh. Caught you. <laughs> he ain't even really looking. Uh oh. She said, go ahead and look. You think he was spying on you? No, not spying. Yeah. Well, I don't see why it matters. Grey Worm isn't interested. None of the unsullied care what's under our clothes. I think Grey Worm different. He was interested. Yeah. What? I believe he was interested. I mean, is he offended? When the slavers castrate the boys, did they take all of it? All of it? The... The pillar and the stones. Yes. I don't know, Your Grace. Haven't you ever wondered? Why the hell would she wonder that? Yes. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Let me just close my mouth. So they're trying to say the Grey Worm might be able to take care of business? Hmm. Happy Sunday. Don't imagine he vowed over there. Oh. The lessons you give are in common tongue. These are precious to I. To me. To me. Yeah. I don't remember teaching you the word precious. Juradi Andal, he teaches I. He teaches me this word. Do you remember the name you were given at birth? I remember nothing. Only Ansali. When they cut you. Do you remember that? Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they did that to you. Why? Why sorry? It's a terrible thing to do to a boy. If the masters never cut me, I never am unsullied. I never stand in the plaza of pride when Denere Stoneborn orders us to kill the masters. I never am chosen to lead the unsullied. I never meet Misande from the island of Nath. Hmm. I'm sorry, Grey Worm, but I'll trade all of that in order to not be cut. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I knew that too. <laughs> All right, so I think this is the most wholesome relationship that is brewing in this show so far. I like it. Kraken. Mmm, strong. As long as they're in the sea. <laughs> when you take them out of the water, no bones. They collapse under their proud weight and slump into a heap of nothing. What do you tell them? I'm Theon Greyjoy, son of Balon, heir to the Iron Islands. And what are you really? I'm Reek. Are you sure? You do look very much like a lord. Formidable. Proud. 
Henry. Until when? Always. Forever. That's right. Until you're rotting in the ground. Remember what you are and what you're Damn, not. man. So is Theon ever going to get deprogrammed? What is going to snap his ass back into reality? His sister wasn't able to do it. Maybe if, like, I'm saying Rob's gone. Like, who else does he really care about? Probably, like, the Stark kids. I'm Kenning, commander of this garrison. And you say you're Theon Greyjoy? Yes. Why should I believe that? I was born on Pike to bail on Greyjoy, his third and last living son. I am your prince. I swear it by the drowned god. What is dead may never die. And if you were my prince? Why are you marching with a Bolton army? Lord Bolton took me captive after Winterfell. He has sent me to treat with you in good faith as your fellow Ironborn. And what does Lord Bolton want? Lord Bolton implores you to protect your men and abandon this fortress you can no longer hold. Do this, and he will be just and fair with you as he has been with me. Yeah. He wants us to surrender. My own father, your king. Surrendered years ago to Robert Baratheon. I watched him bend the knee. There was no shame there. He fought with honor, as did you. Damn. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Oh, shit. No shame. Fought with honor. Only a whip dog would speak this way. Huh. Or a woman. Damn. Are you a woman, boy? You don't know. The Ironborn will not surrender. Speak. Speak. You go tell your master that. Theon Greyjoy, or whoever the fuck you are. Or in hell are you muttering? Oh, what? Who the hell? If we yield, we live. Is that what he says on this paper here? Yes. Have your men raise the white flag and open the gates. You're going home. Somehow I think that is false as hell. Look you at this really shit. I let them go, did you? It's fallen out of fashion. Playing. Sad. But true. But traditions are important. Where are we without our wow. history? Wow. Hey? Yes, my lord. Will we go home now? I believe we will. To our new home. Mm. Theon, snap out of it, man. You have foreign blood, don't you, Baelish? A great grandfather from Bravos, yes. Lord Baelish, His man. Lord Baelish. I just don't know else. what to say about this man. Originally. <laughs> Our forebears settled the Vale thousands of years ago. Lady Aaron often told me that you were a rock, Lord Royce. Well, she told me nothing about you, Baelish. Hmm. But I didn't need to hear from her. Moneylender, whoremonger, you've been licking Tywin Lannister's boots so long as I wonder your tongue's not black. Lord, and when John Aaron named you Master of Coin, no one cared. Huh? Always been a grubby job. Why not let a grubby man do it? But when I heard you were lurking here, fawning over the Lady Aaron... Lady Aaron invited me. She and I have been close since childhood. Yes, we all know how close you were. 
Lady Aaron's predilections were her own affair. Her death is our affair. Of course, her uh, suicide shattered us all. Uh. She was an odd fish. Everyone knew that. Mm -hmm. But suicide. She adored that boy of hers. I don't see her abandoning him. Not by choice. Strange that within days of your arrival, you've married Lady Aaron, and she's fallen through the moon door. She was always <laughs> prone to melancholy. We were told there was a witness, a girl. A niece of yours, I believe. A girl with no learning and scattered wits, I assure you, she would be of no help. We'd like to speak with her. Uh, Let me fetch her. No need. We prefer to hear her testimony unadulterated. Come on now. He already schooled Sartre to the game. We're talking about Lord Bailey's here. Confess, child. You have nothing to fear from us. Or him. Lord Baelish here is your uncle? Perhaps you would feel more comfortable if Lord Baelish left the room. My lady. I wasn't asking you. He can still oh. speak up, girl. You're not a damn kitchen mouse. Tell <laughs> us what you saw. I'm sorry, Lord Baelish. I, I have to tell the truth. They got this all acted out. I know it. I'll tell you everything. My name's not Elaine. It's Sansa Stark. Oh. Eldest daughter of Lord Eddard Stark. Hang on now. Lord Royce, we met when you came to Winterfell. Sansa Stark? Wait a second. You tell lies right to my face, you little worm. Lord Baelish has told many lies. All to protect me. Since my father was executed, I have been a hostage in King's Landing. A plaything for Joffrey to torture or Queen Cersei to torment. They beat me, they That's humiliated true. me, they married me to the imp. He saved me. Smuggled me away. I get it. The, the plan is to tell him a little bit of the lie. He knew I'd be but safe here. Keep the eerie. main part. With my own blood, my aunt Lysa. Meaning the murder of Aunt Lysa secret. The Lannisters have friends everywhere, even the Vale. He made me swear not to tell anyone my true name. Your secret is safe with us, my lady. Your father grew up right here in these halls. We hunted together many times. He was a fine man. Oh, even Tell better. They like eyes. Sansa. They're definitely going to believe her. You knew her well, my lords, my lady. You knew she was a troubled woman. Okay. She always loved Lord Baelish. She told me herself. She confessed to me she never loved Lord Arryn. She did as her father commanded, as so many of us have. When the gods finally allowed her to be with Lord Baelish, she was so happy for a time. My aunt was a jealous lady. She was terrified that Lord Baelish didn't love her anymore, that he would abandon her for a younger woman. One day, she saw him kiss me. It is answer. It was a peck on the cheek, Lord Royce, nothing more. Uh. Lord Baelish is my uncle now, in truth, by marriage. He's always been so kind to me. I was so happy to be here, to be free, all because of him. But my aunt turned on me. She cursed me, called me a whore, promised to throw me through the moon door. When Lord Baelish tried to calm her, she struck him. She said she didn't want to live anymore. She stood on the edge of that moon door. He tried to reason with her, promised her she was the only one he had ever loved. But she stepped through those doors and she was... She went from being a terrible liar to the best liar I've ever seen. Sweet girl. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Y'all had to crack a smile, Lord Baelish. <laughs> Uh, see it in the way she raised that boy, feeding him from her own teeth when he was ten years old. Lord Royce. Weird. This is hardly the time. Apologies, my lady. 
And to you as well, the Eilish. We uh, treated you a bit harsh. <laughs> you want justice, Lord Royce. I can hardly complain about that. But only 20 years ago, the Knights of the Vale rode behind John Arryn, Ned Stark, Robert Baratheon. They fought together to overcome the Mad King. And since then, Arryn and Royce, Corbray, Wainwood, all the great houses of the Vale watched from the corner a timid boy at a tavern brawl. Are you questioning our courage? I want to know which side you're on. I mean, do you support the Lannisters, the house that executed your friend Ned Stark? Well, of course we don't support the damn Lannisters. No. <laughs> the Catelyn Stark begged her sister for support and Lysa refused. By staying out of the fray, you've allowed Tywin Lannister to destroy his rivals on every compass point. Who stands against him now? Who would you have us back, Lord Baelish? Rob Stark is dead. I'd have you back. Robin Aaron, Lord of the Vale. Robin Aaron is a sickly little boy. And sickly little boys sometimes become powerful men. More often, they die young. <laughs> I adored Lysa with all my heart. But she loved her son so much she became overprotective. He needs to learn how to swing a sword, how to ride a horse. Hi. It's time. Yes, it's time. He trying to save Robin up to go out there and get murdered? Barry's done. Yes. Who sent you? That's some Laura Bear's stuff right there. What you got, Lord Barristan? Or Sir Barristan? Sejura? Have I forgotten a council meeting? No. <laughs> What's this? A royal pardon. Signed by Robert Baratheon. You spied on her. Oh, damn. Who gave you this? Does it matter? Have you told her? I wanted to tell you first, man to man. Rather than go behind your back. Let me speak with her in private. You'll never be alone with her again. Mm -hmm. Anna? He did switch sides back when um, they tried to poison her with that wine, I believe. Why did the usurper pardon you? If we could speak alone. No. Speak to me here. Explain it to me. Who do you think sent this to Marine? Who profits? This is the work of Kywin Lannister. He wants to divide us. If we're fighting each other, we're not fighting him. The pardon was signed the year we met. Why were you pardoned? Unless you're saying this document was forged? It is not forged. Why then? I sent letters to Varys, the spy master of King's Landing. What was the content of these letters? Information. What information? When you and Viserys arrived in Pentos, his plan to marry you to Khal Drogo when you were married, when your brother died. You told them I was carrying Drogo's child? I... Yes or no? Khaleesi. Don't call me that. Did you tell them I was carrying yeah. Drogo's child? Yes. That wine merchant tried to poison me? Because of your information. I stopped you from drinking his wine. Because you knew it was poisoned. I suspected. You betrayed me. Yes and from no. The first. Forgive me. I never meant. Please, Galisi. Forgive me. You sold my secrets to the man who killed my father I and stole my you brother's throat. You want you. me Kill to for forgive you? you. I have loved you. Love. 
any other man and I would have you executed, but you, I do not want you in my city dead or alive. Go back to your masters in King's Landing. Collect your pardon, if you can. Nerys, please. Don't ever presume to touch me again or speak my name. You have until dusk to collect your things and leave this city. If you're found in Marine past break of day, I'll have your head thrown into Slaver's Bay. Okay. He did a terrible job of explaining himself. Even though if I was her, I still probably would have sent his ass away too. I probably would have killed his ass actually, but I get what happened though. He didn't know her at first, so yeah, he was gonna betray her, but then you start to see that she really does deserve to be like queen or whatever, so, you know, you change your mind. What was this? Yeah. But um. Kaylin is yours, father. Walk with me. Has there been any word from luck? No. Unimportant. A cripple, a young boy. None of the Northern Lords have seen them. Dead, most likely. The North is mine. Now tell me, what is your name? Ramsey Snow. No, not Ramsey Snow. Open it. From this day until your last day, you are Ramsay Bolton, son of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. Don't nobody give a damn. You honor me. I swear I will uphold your name and your tradition. I will be worthy of you, Father. I promise. Uh. That is true. Why did you help me? They would have thrown you through the moon door if they found you guilty. Oh, that wasn't even like rehearsed and planned? She came up with that on her own? They'd have executed you. What would they have done with me? I yeah. don't know. Neither do I. Better to gamble on the man you know than the strangers you don't. And Do you think you know me? I know what you want. Do you? Uh. I thought it'd make me happy. All right, Santa. Okay, Santa. Becoming far more interesting because, like, um, Grandmother Tyrell said, she's kind of boring. didn't get to kill Joffrey yourself. I wanted to see the look in his eyes when he knew it was over. Aye, nothing in the world beats that look. <laughs> you protected him for most of his life. You think you could have saved him? It wasn't the damn wine taster. <laughs> Good thing. Little shit deserved to die, but... Poison. Poison's a woman's weapon. Men kill with steel. That's your stupid pride talking. It's why you'll never be a great killer. I'd have killed Joffrey with a chicken bone if I had to. <laughs> I'd pay good money to see that. Me too. You should have let me burn it. It's a flea bite. That flea bite's been uh, walking a lot slower than you used to. I was about to say, oh, is he gonna end up being taken out by that damn slow. bite? You really think my aunt will pay for me? Aye, she'll pay. I've never even met her. Oh, hold up. Ari and Sasha about to reunite? Honor. Who would pass the bloody gate? The bloody hound, Sander Clegane. And his... traveling companion, <laughs> Arya Stark, niece of your lady Lysa Arryn. 
Then I offer my condolences. Lady Aaron died. Three days ago. Shit. <laughs> Arya. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I have a lifetime before Uncle Peter. I'm afraid to leave. You shouldn't be. The Lord of the Vale belongs in the Eyrie, your mother said. She said it's not safe outside. It wasn't safe for her inside. Yeah. People die. Why do you see that? Tables. They die in their beds. Yes. Everybody dies sooner or later. And don't worry about your death. Worry about your life. Take charge of your life for as long as it lasts. That is what it means to be Lord of the Vale. I think he gassing this kid up so he can go out there and trip and fall and break his damn neck or some shit. Is this Sansa wearing black? Man, what is happening to Sansa? Shall we go? She even walking like Lord Baelish. Oh, damn. <laughs> Wine always helps. Trial by combat. Deciding a man's guilt or innocence in the eyes of the gods by having two other men hack each other to pieces tells you something about the gods. I mean, well... You think Oberyn has a chance? The Red Viper of Dawn. You don't get a name like that unless you're deadly, right? Never seen him fight. Oh, he's going to die. I'm yeah. going to die. Oberyn believes in himself. That's putting it mildly. Yes. Do you remember cousin Orson? Orson Lannister? Of course. Wet nurse dropped him on his head and left him simple. Simple? Used to sit all day in the garden crushing beetles with a rock. <laughs> Nothing made him happier. Damn, are they happier. laughing at their slow cousin? I think being tormented from birth would have given you some affinity for the afflicted. On the contrary, laughing at another person's misery was the only thing that made me feel like everyone else. Why was he smashing all those beetles? Why did he get out of it? I tried to stop Olsen once. He was twice your size. He just pushed me aside with a coup and kept on smashing. Every day, until that mule kicked him in the chest and killed him. Hey. What was the point of that story? What do you think? Why did he do it? What was it all about? I don't know. Good luck today. Hang on. Shit. I mean, this should be the biggest crowd in history right here. It looks like very light armor. I like to move around. You could at least wear a helmet. You shouldn't drink before a fight. You learned this during your years in the fighting pits. <laughs> I always drink before a fight. It could get you killed. It could get me killed. Today is not the day I die. Yeah. I mean, if I was Tyrion, I think I would be pretty chill and relaxed. I You're feel pretty confident over it. That probably means him. he's gonna die. He's the biggest man I've ever seen. Size does not matter when you are flat on your back. Thank the <laughs> gods. <laughs> In the sight of gods and men, we gather to ascertain the guilt or innocence of this um, uh, man, Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, man. May the mother grant them mercy. May the father give them such justice as they deserve. And may the warrior guide the hand of our champion. It 
Did they just cut Pycel short? <laughs> Yo, nobody I'm likes him. In this world. Never. It's go time, baby. Now, old Brett, when we're doing all that to get your ass whooped. Have they told you who I am? Some dead man. Oh. I am the brother of Elia Martel. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I've come all the way to this stinking shit pile of a city. For you? Uh. I'm going to hear you confess before you die. You raped my sister. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it now and we can make this quick. Yeah. Ah. 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 Who has seen the princess bride? Oh, I can't think of the line. I want to say it so bad. You raped her? You murdered her? You killed her children. He's dancing on his ass. Look at him. Look, look at him. You raped her. You murdered her. You killed her children. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Oh damn. I get why they call him the Viper. Oh, hey. Look at Cersei. She looked nervous. Raped her! You murdered her! Uh, yeah. Was that the Achilles? Because it's over. Say her name. Elia Martel. You raped her. You killed her children. Elia Martel. Who gave you the order? Who gave oh, you the shit. order? Say her name. You raped her. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it. Say her name. Say it. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Gods have made their will known. God damn it. Tyrion Lannister. In the name of King Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of his name, you are hereby sentenced to death. Uh, I gotta tell you, man, I'm getting a little numb to this. I am getting a little numb to the surprise death. That one, I'll be honest, wasn't even a surprise. I kind of saw that coming. When he was walking around, hollering and screaming, I definitely felt like, Something funny was going to happen. It looked too easy for him. So I figured they were going to pull some type of shit. Damn, man. I, You know, if they don't stop making me like characters and then kill them immediately. I mean, come on now. We could have got one more season of Prince Oberyn. Damn. All right. So what does this mean for Tyrion? I mean, well, I guess I'll start episode nine to find out what happens. Come back and check me out. Peace.